education, employment, entrepreneurs, and economic development, or Tech for Ed project. Tech for Ed aims to establish centers that cater to areas with minimal or no access to ICT, providing them with services and contents on education, skills training, and various government services. These centers have access to the Tech for Ed platform offering content such as eEduSkills delivers e-learning on demand. e-assist provides modules for skills development. e-marketplace allows greater market reach for businesses. e-govserve provides direct government services to rural areas. e-agri offers contents on agriculture technologies. e-health gives access to basic health information. Rural Impact Sourcing provides learning materials to acquire knowledge and skills for online jobs. And Gender and Development offers modules for women empowerment. Tech for Ed Centers serve as hubs that enable skills training and job opportunities. This program helped me by finding a job and of course gaining more confidence as well. I was able to gain knowledge about the BPOs um, on how does the environment work. As of now, as I would the call center agent, so I see that difference because as of now I'm learning, uh, I'm earning more than I, am, I have earned uh, before as a tricycle driver. Tech for Ed empowers overseas Filipino workers to explore online jobs to support their family. With the emergence of the Tech for Ed centers here in the Philippines, we were the very first to have the Tech for Ed centers here. Bali, ang pinakamalaking impact po ng Tech for Ed sa buhay ko ay yung time para sa aking family. Ngayon, ang time ko sa kanila is buong buo na. Hindi na siya yung typical na 21 days in a year lang na mas marami pa yung oras ko sa abroad na hindi kasama sila. Tech for Ed helps transform the lives of the marginalized sectors. Siguro, iisipin na lang nila parang training na din sa kanila, additional skills po sa kanila. So, para paglabas po nila, magagamit din po nila sa pagbabagong buhay po nila. Para sa akin, ang Tech for Ed ay maiignite ko sa isang salitang pag-asa. Pag-asa para sa aking sarili, pag-asa na makapanibagong buhay, pag-asa na mabigyan ako ng pagkakataong mabago ang pananaw ko sa aking sarili, pag-asa upang makatagpo po ng trabaho, pag-asa na makapagbigay karunungan sa aking mga kapwa PDLs po dito po. DICT will uphold its mandates to develop plans and programs that ensure universal access to ICT services, infrastructure, and spearhead initiatives for countryside development through the Tech Red project that strives to nurture the welfare of the people and to enable, empower, and transform the quality of life of the Filipinos. Technology is reshaping our lives. It dramatically changed the way we live, the way we learn, the way we work, and the way we communicate. Technology has tremendous potential to connect us with one another. But there are still people who remain unreached, disconnected, and deprived of digital opportunities. In 2017, only 67 million Filipinos are online. 41% of people in urban areas are connected, and only 22% in rural areas have access to ICT services. 
That is why the Department of Information and Communications Technology aims to narrow down the digital divide in the country through the technology empowerment for education, employment, entrepreneurs, and economic development, or tech for ed project. tech for ed aims to establish centers that cater to areas with minimal or no access to ICT, providing them with services and contents on education, skills training, and various government services. These centers have access to the tech for ed platform offering content such as e-EduSkills delivers e-learning on demand, e-Assist provides modules for skills development, e-Marketplace allows greater market reach for businesses, e govserve provides direct government services to rural areas. eAgri offers contents on agriculture technologies. eHealth gives access to basic health information. Rural Impact Sourcing provides learning materials to acquire knowledge and skills for online jobs. And Gender and Development offers modules for women empowerment. Tech for Ed centers serve as hubs that enable skills training and job opportunities. This program helped me by finding a job and of course gaining more confidence as well. I was able to gain knowledge about the BPOs um, on how does the environment work. As of now, as I would the call center agent, so I see that difference because as of now I'm learning, uh, I'm earning more than I am I have earned uh, before as a tricycle driver. Tech for Ed empowers overseas Filipino workers to explore online jobs to support their family. With the emergence of the Tech for Ed centers here in the Philippines, we were the very first to have the Tech for Ed centers here. Bali, ang pinakamalaking impact po ng Tech for Ed sa buhay ko ay yung time para sa aking family. Ngayon, ang time ko sa kanila is buong-buo na. Hindi na siya yung typical na 21 days in a year lang na mas marahe pa yung oras ko sa abroad na hindi kasama sila. Tech for Ed helps transform the lives of the marginalized sectors. Siguro, iisipin na lang nila parang training na din sa kanila, additional skills po sa kanila. So, para paglabas po nila, magagamit din po nila sa pagbabagong buhay po nila. Para sa akin, ang Tech for Ed ay maiignite ko sa isang salitang pag-asa. Pag-asa para sa aking sarili, pag-asa na makapanibagong buhay, pag-asa na mabigyan ako ng pagkakataong mabago ang pananaw ko sa aking sarili, pag-asa upang makatagpo po ng trabaho, pag-asa na makapagbigay karunungan sa aking mga kapwa PDLs po dito po. DICT will uphold its mandates to develop plans and programs that ensure universal access to ICT services, infrastructure, and spearhead initiatives for countryside development through the Tech Red project that strives to nurture the welfare of the people and to enable, empower, and transform the quality of life of the Filipinos. Good morning everyone. Welcome po sa ating uh, Tech for Ed webinar.
ngayon. Uh, before we start, uh, acknowledge lang po natin ang presence ng atin pong uh, na atin pong RP for today, si Ma'am Jane. Good morning, Ma'am. And sa lahat po ng participants na nandito po, good morning. Yan. So to start po, yan, for our opening prayer, please uh, may I request Sir Mark. Thank you. Dear God, thank you for the opportunity to meet together. Please, Help us to come together to make this institution reflect your kingdom. Breathe life into our ideas and decisions. Help us build a team that has love and respect at its heart. Give us the strength to continue working for your kingdom in this time of pandemic. Lord, Come, give us the inspiration to be the best we can be. May we be a shining example of your goodness and truth within, wherever we are. Inspire our thoughts, discussions, and ideas, and continue to remind us that all that we do here today, all that we accomplish, is for the pursuit of truth for the greater glory of you. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Now, yan, for our guidelines and reminders, turn on only your microphone if you have questions or clarifications or use the chat box. And later, our RP will answer all your questions. Turn on your camera during the entire training for us to make uh, the discussion more interactive. Do not share your screen or do any annotations and observe proper decorum and netiquette. Uh, lahat po ng nanonood ngayon, maski po hindi po sila nakapasok sa Zoom, ay makakareceive pa rin po ng certificates provided na ma-accomplish po nila ang uh, post-evaluation form with the, within the given span of time. Yun pa. Thank you. Ayan. For our opening remarks, uh, uh, magbibigay po ng uh, video si Engineer Reynaldo TC, ang ating Regional Director from DIC Luzon Cluster 2. Sorry po, meron lang yatang technical ano, problem sa pag-play ng ating uh, video. Mm -hmm. So, yan. Pakiulit na lang po ulit, Sir Mark. Thank you po. Good morning everyone, the DIC Tilsong Cluster 2 welcomes all of you in our webinar on building income streams with affiliate marketing. COVID-19 almost put everything on hold. Everybody was forced to stay home. Businesses and employment were highly affected. Businesses need to pause and put everything on pause. This scenario puts too much strain to the economic condition in every household worldwide. Businessmen and entrepreneurs were forced to close shops. OFW were forced to return home. Employment were terminated. Luckily, the development of vaccines helped minimize the effect of pandemic. As of now, the worldwide economy is slowly opening up. Businesses were starting to open and expand. Employment opportunities were starting to grow up. Business income were starting to go back to normal. This is the reason for our webinar today. We need to let the public know the different financial and monetary opportunities and options available for them so the public may take advantages of them 
for their own financial success. This building income streams with affiliate marketing, just one of our series of webinars, other are tech web program. Special thanks for, to our source person, Mr. Jane McGannoy, for sharing your knowledge and expertise and giving time to our requests. We are hoping that through this webinar, we will be part of some digital knowledge to our participants. Thank you for joining our webinar. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for your uh, welcome remarks, Sir Ray. So now, our topic for today is building two income streams with affiliate marketing. So before we start, may I introduce to you our resource speaker for today. So Ms. Jane Maghanoy is a licensed electronics engineer with work experience as an admin assistant and fraud and risk specialist in Globe Telecom and senior analyst in Sun Cellular. With her background and determination, Ms. Maghanoy pursued to be a freelance CEO, SEO and affiliate marketing strategist that works with different clients for digital marketing roles on SEO, social media, and affiliate marketing. Given her expertise, she is now the founder and CEO of Jazz Online Solutions. Her agency is an affiliate marketing strategy that helps affiliates and companies scale up their affiliate business through outsourcing. On the other side, Ms. Maghanoy is a certified DICT resource trainer for Digital Jobs PH, technical training program, and a freelancer, freelance trainer, speaker, and coach with a warm coach. So let's now welcome our speaker, Ma'am Jane Maghanoy, and let's give her a round of applause, virtual round of applause. Hello, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me well? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sige, good morning. So I just want to know kung sino po ba yung, uh, saan po ba tayo, uh, from where tayo, baka pwede niyong matay po kung saan po kayo ngayon. You can just, if nasa Cavite ba kayo, or saan ba kayo ngayon, just type in kung saan po yung location nila. Okay, let me see. So from Rizal, okay, we have from Bico. Great, weird that meron pala rin Bico, Laguna. Okay, great. Now, um, how about po your ano? Um, would like to know if you are a student. If you are a student, can you type in S? If you are a student, and if you are a freelancer, naman type in F. If you are a freelancer, okay. Um, what else? Student. If you are ano pa ba yung ano student freelancer? Are you working currently? Working po ba? You can um regular employee. You can type in R. Okay, see a teacher. So we have a teacher. Okay, good morning, everyone. Sige. Uh, great to hear that one. So nasa ibang ano tayo mga um, industries. Okay. Um, I'd like to know if you are familiar ba with affiliate marketing. Is it the first time? Can you type in one if it's the first time to hear about affiliate marketing? Okay, first time to hear about affiliate marketing. Okay, sige, hold on guys ha. So, let me share lang muna my slides. So, okay. Sige, mag-share lang ha. Okay. Nakikita mo po ba yung screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, Paul. Great to hear that. Now, okay, again, good morning, everyone. So my name is Jane Maghanoy. So I've been in the freelancing industry since 2008, and I've been working from home for more than a decade, siguro mga 13 years na. So as I mentioned, I used to work in a telco company. I was a fraud and risk specialist for nine years. And then dahil nga traffic from uh, going from Cavite, hindi, Ortigas to Cavite, pabalik. So, mga ganun ka, ano, medyo yung traffic ba. So, I decided to quit my uh, corporate job. Um, and then, I, I really, ano, um, I find working from home a great opportunity. And I'm happy that I'm still here in the industry sharing with you this, ano, opportunity. Okay. So, 
uh, we will be discussing today about the building to income streams with affiliate marketing. Okay? Now, I'd like to know, sino po yung nakapunta na dito sa Boracay? Can you type in one, Boracay, or baka na gusto niyo, or may plano na pumunta ng Boracay kasi you want to have that um, ano, no, great experience? You know? Tingnan nga natin kung sino na yung ano, um, nakapunta ng Boracay. Ayan, madami po pala naka, ano, nakapunta ng Boracay. Ako actually hindi pa. <laughs> But anyway, siguro for those na nakapunta na, for sure you had this great experience. Tama po ba? And because you experienced that, uh, ayun, yung great or yung magandang um, parang nag-enjoy kayo, you cannot help but you share to share to others, to your relatives, to your friends. Na punta kayo dito sa Boracay kasi ang ganda. Okay? You tell that great experience. Okay? So, yun. And second thing is, um, if you are a freelancer naman, um, siguro may nagtatanong sa inyo pag, pag nagsimula ba ng freelancing. Um, ano ba yung magandang laptop na pwedeng gamitin natin? So, I hope, I, I'm sure, yung mga freelancers natin ngayon nakaka-relate yan, tama? So, and again, when you are using a brand, you're using a brand because you have that great experience as well. Sabi nyo, okay, etong product na to, magaling siya, maganda siya, mabilis. So, I really love the product and you can ano rin, help but to share. And normally, Diba pag nag-share naman tayo, libre naman yan, diba? You just share the information. You share that experience. But what about have this, I know, there's actually an opportunity na um, when you share to someone, you can actually get a commission out of that one. What well, Hindi naman magbabayad sa inyo si ano, kung sino yung na-share nyo, no? Wala, free mo lang siyang i-share, but you can get a commission out of that one. And, and that is why I will be sharing about, again, Um, kasi for example, familiar with this brand, Green Apple, no? So let's say for example, you love this brand, um, this la type of laptop, and you you share that one. Now, when someone purchase that laptop, and then uh, let's say for example, nag-share kayo ng uh, link, then that, uh, kung sino man yung pinag mo and purchase that product, then there's an opportunity wherein you can get a commission out of that one by simply sharing that great experience uh, of using that product. And this is where papasok po yung income stream number one. It's, we, you can become an affiliate marketer, okay? So as an affiliate marketer, you promote other people's products and you get a commission out of that one. Okay, now, when we say as an affiliate marketer, you, there are three steps actually. You, you join affiliate program, You promote the affiliate product and then you earn a commission depending kung ano yung affiliate uh, program. We call it affiliate program or ano yung, um, ano yung ano nila system when it comes to their affiliate uh, uh, program. So yun yung process. Now, how does it work? So let's say, for example, if you're someone who's going to promote the product, so ang nangyayari dyan is um, you as an affiliate, tinatawag po yan as affiliate, you create relationship with the business, okay? So kung ano, whatever um, companies that you create that relationship with that business, and then you join their affiliate program, so you as an affiliate promote your promote that product or services, And then, of course, pag na-promote nyo yan, um, inter internet users interact with that advertisement. So, on depending on what type of advertisement you are going to use, um, internet, internet users will, uh, again, engage on that one. And then, pupunta yan sa isang website uh, or um, website receives, ano, um, yung, may, there's what we call affiliate link that you're going to share. And again, when someone clicks on that affiliate link and then that customer purchase the products and services, then that's the time you get a commission for that one. So you get paid for sharing. You get paid for promoting. But then again, um, ang kailangan, meron siyang sales. So, or sometimes, hindi rin naman totally sales. Depende yan sa program. It's possible din na through leads lang. May mag-fill up lang in ng information. Um, you can actually get a commission. But of course, depende yan uh, kung whatever mod model ang in-offer ng company. So that's how affiliate marketing works if you are an affiliate marketer. Now, When you want to start as an affiliate marketer, 
Very important that we have that affiliate mindset. Okay, the right affiliate mindset. So, ano ba yung number one that we should have to consider? Number one, affiliate marketing should be an income stream, not a business model. What do I mean with that one? Ibig sabihin yan, you can get started with that one as a side gig. Hindi siya pwedeng gawin as the main source of income. Okay? Hindi siya pwedeng ganun. Kasi, why? It's because affiliate marketing income may take some time. Depende yan on your knowledge, depende yan on your experience, depende yan on how committed you are. So it really depends. And then the third one is affiliate marketing is about your audience. It's not about you. So you are there to help your target audience decide what's uh, parang isishare nyo sa kanila yung uh, best products that uh, you believe na makakatulong din sa mga uh, yung audience nyo or what you call the followers. Okay, now. So, uh, ready na ba kayong ano, ready na ba kayong mag-start as an affiliate marketer? So, ano po ba yung kailangan natin when you want to start as an affiliate marketer? There are four steps that you need to do. Number one is find a niche. Um, second is find a product to promote. Third is you have to choose promotion channel. And then, of course, you have to uh, consider um, thinking about how to create different type of contents. Now, um, let's go one by one for these four steps. Finding a niche. So when finding a niche, um, when we see niche, it's, it's a, a segment of a big mark, a category market. Uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's a sub, it's a segment na ano no parang nakafocus on specific industry let's say for example um let's say for example uh we have some dogs so dogs are sold uh, pets and then we have dogs and then we have another category pa. let's say for example i wanted to talk about maltese so basically you have to find a niche uh, for that one and pedering another one if mahilig kayo mag travel kung mahilig kayo mag-travel, um, there's also another one which is the travel niche. So yung travel na yan, meron din niya mga sub-niches. So you have to identify ano ba yung gusto niyong uh, niche na pasukin. So probably you might want to look at kung mahilig po kayo ng ano, uh, gardening. So that could be another uh, niche that you might want to explore. Or probably you are into the medical field. Meron po ba dito uh, uh, participants na nasa health industry? So if you are into that one, there's actually a lot, uh, maraming opportunity for, for the uh, medical uh, industry. And then um, another one could be like, if mahilig ka naman sa mga books. So if you love reading books and then meron ka ulit uh, niche, si pipili ka ulit dyan specific niche, let's say you might want to look at um, personal growth development books. So, so basically, when you want to start as an affiliate marketer, you have to find a niche. So now the question is, paano tayo pipili na niche? Um, but before we do that one, um, there's a study actually. Um, merong ano... Um, there's a study with AM Navigator. So ito po yung mga top 10 affiliate niches na actually gives great opportunity for those affiliate marketers. And so far, ang pinakamataas na ano, pinakamataas na nakita nila na madami yung um, opportunity are uh, fashion. So fashion mga around 23% ang nandoon. Uh, sports, we also have the health and beauty, travel, home and garden, computer and electronics, education and training, business, financial and insurance, and the high-end um, luxury stores. So yun yung some top 10 uh, they saw it na madami yung nag explore for this one. And it really gave um, a, a great opportunity. Okay, so going back, so going back again, how do you find the niche? Start first with, um, start first with, um, Looking at what's your interest, what's your passion, what do you know a lot. Um, so start ka kung ano talaga yung alam mo. Kasi kung dyan, kasi pag alam mo, hindi ka na mahihirapang um, when it comes to the content creation. So I'd like to know, um, si, ano po yung mga sa tingin nyo, ano yung specific, ano yung mga niche na gusto nyo i-explore. Can you type in kung ano yung tingin nyo, something that you love to do, something that interests you, something that you are passionate with. Let me know uh, if you can type in, please, kung ano yung mga niche, and we'll see what are those 
uh, niches that you might want to get into. Sige nga, tingnan natin. Can you type in, everyone, kung ano po yung ano nyo, ano yung mga, something that you love to do, something that interests you, something that you are most passionate with. Okay, sabi ni Marie is, yeah, designing, personal growth, self-growth, sabi ni Mariel, no? Um, yun, so actually, personal self-growth, it's, it's a, a, a very broad and uh, madaming opportunity for that one. Okay, so... Now, once you identify kung ano yung niche na yan, then it's time for you to find a product. So, when you want to find a product, it must be something that can actually help solve a problem. So, I have this ano, I have this experience. Um, um I have this brand ex uh, experience. Okay. So, when I started my uh, freelancing journey way back 2008, so after siguro mga two years, I got a long-term client. So the business that my client had um, was on online pharmacies. So yun yun, they were affiliate and actually I become an aff a sub-affiliate for that one. So uh, when it comes to, again, uh, when it comes to finding the product, again, you must be familiar. Mas maganda familiar ka. Mas maganda, um, alam mo yung, in, somehow alam mo yung industry, somehow alam mo rin yung relevant, yung may experience ka that one. So at my end, when I choose to become a sub affiliate, I become a sub affiliate for that client. So we were then promoting um, online pharmacy. So ang ginagawa dito is we promote products like Tramadol. So it's actually a pain reliever. So we promote it using one website, and then we make use of that one. And yeah, basically we use SEO to promote that product. So yeah. So when when we promote that product, we're actually getting a commission of um, let's say for example one product will get a commission of eleven dollars, and then one product gets around six dollars for a commission. But please take note that these people. We don't know these people, okay? Walang interaction. We don't know these people. We just have, ano, basta nagpo-promote lang kami and then we get a commission selling, promoting products like Tramadol, like Uriset, like Chantix. If you're familiar with Chantix, if I recall it right, right it is something to do with a smoking cessation. Yung pinapatigil yung sa smoking. So yun yung mga products that we promote way back. Uh, yeah, mga 2010. So, to, or 2012, between 2010 to 2012. And getting a commission around $11 per product, not bad, di ba? It's, it's a side gig. Eh. It's, a, it's a sideline income that we can uh, maximize then. Okay. So, just to recap, you have to find a niche. Second one is you need to find a product that you want to promote. Now, another one, again, if you are in the health industries, so as I mentioned, if meron kang experience of that one, familiar ka, then maximize whatever that opportunity is. So let's say, for example, um, way back, I mean, siguro mga nung uh, 2019, I got this client. So yung client ko naman was on the drug testing um, services. Uh, they were offering products on drug test cups. And they are, um, they are, their business is selling bulk products when it comes to drug test cups. Meron ding, uh, meron ding mga um, TCA test strips, meron ding mga marijuana test strips. So may, may kasama din yung mga pregnancy test strips. So there was, th this was their product. And because I'm familiar with that one, I, I had actually, pro I'm promoting actually this drug testing industry, but this one is targeted to US. And ito kasi, they pro when you promote their products, so let's say for a drug test cup, nagta-target din ito ng mga companies like uh, mga um, drug testing facilities. You can promote such products like that in US. Um, they just have to set up a website and then you promote that one. And this is something that I actually promote. So, and normally they get, uh, they offer 6% if they, uh, no, if that, if that uh, particular audience purchased that product through your link. So, um, going back, when selecting products, again, you must have that background, the list you have, you need to buy. Otherwise, you have to spend time to, to learn more pa about that products. Okay. So 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 far yun yung ano no um so so far yun yung ano um yun yung what they call this one so far yun yung um 
um, kailangan nating steps that we need to do to get started as an affiliate marketer. To recap, you have to find a niche. Second, you have to find a product to promote. Okay? And then, um, okay, now, the question is, okay, you have to find product to promote, but where are you going to find those products? Okay? So, there are what we call affiliate networks. So, yung affiliate networks na yan, um, these are third-party companies uh, wherein nag -ano sila, they connect the affiliates and the business or the brands. So, ang pinaka-popular na networks are ClickBank, um, Commission Junction, Rakuten, we also have the Max Bounty. So this one, um, what you do with this one is you sign up in the network and then you are going to find mga affiliate products to promote. So you just have to go there, sign up, and again, choose the product that you are going to promote. But sometimes, hindi lahat ng affiliate networks work, will approve you. You will be sometimes be rejected. So part din ng journey mo as an affiliate marketer na sometimes you will be rejected kasi naghahanap sila ng, uh, sometimes naghahanap sila ng ano, uh, dapat meron kayong website, Okay, dapat medyo madami yung followers niyo or audience. So, but of course, meron din namang mga affiliate networks na hindi naman ganun ka katindi when it comes to the requirement. So, like Max Bounty, um, hindi sila strict naman no, when it comes to the requirement for an affiliate. So, yeah. So, there are, of course, there are some policies that you have to follow when you join the affiliate networks. Okay, another one. So, we have the affiliate networks. And you can actually go to direct to companies. Diretso ka na sa company. Okay? Now, um, as I've mentioned, the as I've mentioned, you have to find, you have to identify what niche you are. So let's say, for example, for me, I am a, an affiliate marketer promoting the uh, work from home opportunities. So I normally promote products that relates to freelancing. So since I am more equipped, since I am have more experience with the industry, I choose to focus on the freelancing niche. So there are companies that you can go direct sign up to their affiliate program. So one of the products that I go directly is Canva. So Canva of offers affiliate programs. So if you are a user of Canva, you know the experience that you have. You can actually um, promote it. So what you can do is you sign up to their affiliate program. And then, of course, you have to be approved before you can promote it. So for me, these are the products that I promote uh, because I am more familiar with the freelancing industry. So I have Canva, I have Lead Dino, I have Jet Octopus, SimRush, if you are into the SEO services, and then we also have Fiverr affiliates. So yung Fiverr is actually, a, in, I believe for freelancer, you know what free, Fiverr is. So they are promoting freelancing services. So yan, so these are the products that you can go direct. So bawat products na yan, um, they have their corresponding affiliate programs as well. So uh, again, with Lead Dino naman, this is a software um, subscription based naman siya. So since I provide um, affiliate program setup, what I do is I sign up to their affiliate program and pag meron na akong potential client, I send my affiliate link so that uh, kung mag-avail sila ng program, uh, mag-avail sila ng product, probably hindi man ako ma-hire for the specific job. I could also get have that opportunity that I get a commission if they choose that product for their, ano, for their um, program. Okay? And then, of course, we have the SimRush. So, si SimRush, again, is a great tool for SEO. So, this one is they offer 40% recurring commissions. Now, how much SimRush offers? Um, ang monthly subscription ni SimRush is, um, I think, $119 per month. And the commission SimRush is offering, they, get, they offer 40%. Recurring yan na. So every time na nag-subscribe si client, then you get a 40% commission from that one. Okay? So yun, what you can do is you can go direct to companies. Again, two ways on how to find your affiliate products. Number one, you can go to affiliate networks. Or second one, you can go direct to the companies or the brands. Okay. Now, another one. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, meron na bang, are you familiar with Payoneer? Um, would like to know kung meron pang hindi pa familiar with Payoneer. Anyone? Wala pa? 
Okay. Sige. So, Payoneer is actually, um, it's, it's um, they offer a free, Payoneer is a payment platform that we use for uh, sa mga freelancers to receive payments from our international clients. So, si Payoneer, um, si Payoneer is, they have this program, affiliate program, wherein if you are, again, if you are a freelancer and you know how the experience using Payoneer, you can actually get, um, you can become a payoneer affiliate. You can promote their product. Um, all, all you have to do is you just have to sign up. Um, the link, um, I, I'm sharing the link below. Um, you can actually get, you, know, you sign up to that one. And then they, the opportunity is that if you're going to promote the product, you get a commission of $35. Okay, that's around $1,500. But how does it work? Now, when it comes to... Uh, sign up again. Sabi ko nga hindi naman po ito rich quick scheme when you are promoting affiliate products, de ba? I mentioned a while ago hindi po siya ganon. It may take some time. So with with the affiliate painter affiliate program, ang ginagawa there's what we call affiliate program. So what is that affiliate program? These are their set of policies that you need to follow before you get a commission. So hindi po agad agad nakaka commission ka. So let's say for Payoneer, uh, for Payoneer kasi um, you, if you are an affiliate user, I mean, if you are a, an affiliate, you get a commission of $35 if someone signs up your, use, your, your link. However, you can only get a commission uh, for that one when that user or kung sino man yung nag-sign up will earn at least $1,000. Okay? So dapat si ano hindi hindi mo siya makukuha. Wala kang commission for that one hangga't hindi nakakakuha si si uh, user ng at least $1,000. Um probably when it comes to the ano niya, probably sa freelancing income niya. So that could be the source of that um what they call this one that um income. So yun, for that one they have this part ng program nila, okay, the, the user needs to get at least $1,000 and it must be within the 12 months per year. And that's the time you get the $35 commission. And at the same time, the person who signed up the program uh, or the account will also get $35. So yun po yung ginagawang affili um, uh, affiliate program ng specific company. So I have shared with you the specific affiliate program for Payoneer. So that's how it works, okay? So again, as I've mentioned, affiliate marketing is not a rich quick skip. It may take some time, depending again on the value that you are adding to your client, depending on your skills, depending on your commitment. So that's how it works with, um, with the Payoneer affiliate program. But that's a great opportunity if you are already a user of Payoneer, okay? So with that one, um, okay, um, with that one, um, so we have, so let's go here. Now, so I have discussed number one, you have to find a niche. Um, second one, you have to find a product to promote. Um, the next one is you have to decide how are you going to promote. Okay, so we have different channels. So you can either use pwede kang pumili with the website or without a website, without a website. Um, alin ba ang mas better sa dalawa? Of course, having a website is ano, mas better kasi you have the control rather than without a website. But for a beginner, you can get started without a website. Okay, now how do we do that one? How do we promote? So there are different ways on how we can promote. You can make use of social media marketing. You can make use of SEO or search engine optimization. You can make use of email marketing. You can also make use of paid ad campaigns like Facebook and you can make use of Google AdWords. But since we are a beginner, we can actually just go without um organic lang so natural promotion we can make use of that one okay so how does it work pag wala ka pang website now even without a website you can actually post it on your facebook wall for sure madami kang friends and for sure nakikita yung mga post mo how about posting some affiliate products no in that way 
uh, we can actually get a commission by simply sharing. So there will be co no cost naman with those who ever will sign up at no, sa mga friends mo. They just have to click on that link and once they click on that link, pag no purchase sila, then you get a commission out of that one. But of course, it depends pa rin. Again, as I mentioned, depende pa rin yan sa affiliate uh, program. So let's say, for example, I posted, um, if you're familiar with Lazada, uh, yun, you can become a Lazada affiliate. You have to sign up in Lazada and then you can get their links and promote it on your wall. Let's say, for example, I have here the Logitech na um, computer ca uh, camera. So, yan yung, ano, uh, yan yung ginagamit ko. Ako personal, that's the what I use. So, I just have to place the link and then we'll see kung ano, may, may meron bang ano, magsa-sign up. So, that's the number one that you can um, do, okay, even without a website. Another one, so even if you have, wala kang website, you can create a Facebook group. So, create ka ng Facebook group. And then you can invite your friends. You can share with us a Facebook group. Uh, okay, eto meron tong mga um, discount price. You can share about discount. You can um, share about whatever that na saan pedi makatiped. So you can do that one in a in a Facebook group. You just have to invite people there to join your group, and then you can make use of that as a tool for promoting your. Uh, for, for a tool for promoting your affiliate products. So you can make use of that one. Another one is you can create a Facebook page. So pwede kang gumawa ng Facebook page and then you just have to invite uh, people to follow your page and then you can post as well um, your affiliate products there. You can promote your affiliate products. So if you look at it, there are three uh, different ways. Even without a website, you can get started without one. So you can use Facebook one, you can use Facebook page, you can use uh, what you call this one, a page, okay, so to promote your products. So this one, let's say, for example, if you have some pets, you love pets, you love your dogs, again, set up a page, um, you can sign up as a Lazada affiliate, and then you get affiliate on that one, and then you can promote it on your Facebook page. So that's what you can do to get started. Okay, so aside from that one, again, aside from this, I don't know, you can have this, what we call the email marketing. So ang ginagawa po ng email marketing, again, this one also works even without a website. So you just have to sign up for an email marketing tool. Like let's say, for example, we have Aweber, we have MailerLite, um, yun, yun yung pwedeng gamitin. And then of course, um, you, you can also promote there uh, with using those tools like for email marketing tools. And then another one is I mentioned, you can make use of SEO. So for SEO kasi, kailangan natin meron tayong website for this one. So you have to optimize your website so that when you when you promote um, your products, i-optimize nyo yan. So when someone searches, let's say for example, uh, sofa bed, you want to optimize your website para mag-rank siya on page one. And that way, pag nakita ng target audience mo, it's possible na nagustuhan yung website mo, then um, you can, ano, you can have possible na magpo-purchase sila through your product. Okay? Now, um, it may seem like it could be like easy siya gawin, but in reality, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, ano ah, uh, I'm not, uh, what do you call this one? I'm not, um, uh, hindi ko kayo pinipigilan, but um, again, with with affiliate marketing, it actually needs a lot of content. So the question is, do you love writing contents? Okay? So yun yung unang i-consider nyo uh, if you love writing contents, if you love creating contents. Now, there are different types of contents that you need to create when you do affiliate marketing. So what are those, uh, what are those type of contents? You can do blogs, you can do images, you can do videos, you can create content like ebooks, you can create infographics, you can create webinars. So what I'm doing right now, one of the content type that I am doing is the webinar. So in this way, um, sa webinar, nagsishare ako ng information. And when I share, if you notice, I put there an affiliate link. That's a sample on how I promote it. So I'm making use of a webinar and then I put my affiliate link. That's what you can do. And 
um, baka magtanong kay dapat ba madaming ano dapat ba madaming um, manunood it that it's not a requirement as long as you have an audience um well as long as you have an audience it's okay to share as long as you are giving value to your audience and i believe uh when you give value it must be something na nakak- makakatulong doon sa audience niyo so ayun so that's what that's the tool uh that's one of the type of content that you can do or if mahilig naman kayong mag-create na video so you can just make use of your ca- your cell phone create a content probably you wanted to come up with um let's say for example you purchase a product let's say it's your cell phone you can do talk about video you can share with us pwede kayong gagawa ng video tell how does it work paano ba yung ano so you can do that one so whatever product that you are na meron na you think na you believe na nakakatulong you can actually create videos out of that one so again with with the content type um you just have to vary what type of contents that you are going to create kasi Uh, your audience has different ways of learning. It could be visual, it could be kin- uh, audio. So depending no, kung ano yun. So mas maganda that it's going to be a combination. A combination of blogs or mga contents na ano, for right things, um, images, ebooks, videos, infographics, and then of course the webinars. Okay. Now, um, so that's what we have for the content type. So I'm wondering now if Um, sino kaya sa inyo yung mahilig uh, magsulat? Do we have someone here na mahilig magsulat? Sige nga, pakitype nga po please if you are into content writing. Do we have someone here from ano, mahilig magsulat? Wala? wala may, how about video creation? Ah, hi Marie. Ah, okay. Anong klaseng ano yung ano mo pa? Uh, ano yung content? Ah, great, Marie, no? Si Sarah, how about you, Sarah? What type of contents? Uh, are you into uh, video editing, si Sarah? Doing, wow, great. So, ayan, no, video editing. Si Vida naman, it's more on the images. So, graphics. So, that one kasi requires the image naman. So, it's more on the graphics. So, si Sarah is more on the video editing. So, you can make use of these skills, no? Ah, uh, yeah, video editing sabi ni Aurora, video editing for my son and family. Okay. So yun, yun yung mga skills that you can actually make use for that one. You can get started with that. Okay? So, um okay. So now that's um that's what we have for I know. That's what we have for the con- uh, when you want to become an affiliate marketer. Uh, so basically yun po yung mga basic na ano, mga basic na um kailangan natin when we we start uh, to become an affiliate marketer. Um so I'd like so before I proceed with the second income stream, I'd like to know maybe we can ask Muna if we have some questions before we proceed with the next uh, topic. Miss Rana, any okay lang that we want to ano Muna. Um uh, if there are some questions, we will will entertain Muna for that one and then we will proceed with the um with the ano with the next topic. Okay po, Ma'am Jane. Bali, ang question lang po na binigay po ng ating participant ay ito po. Um, tanong po ni Sir Jason Seril, what's the name of the site? Nung kanina po nagde-discuss kayo. Ah, okay. Uh, it's Ovos Medical yung nag-offer ng affiliate products. It's ovosmedical.com. Pwede yan or... Um, pag yan, pag doon ka sa website na yan, diretso na yung pag ano mo, mag, uh, sign up. Pero there are different products as well that offers mga drug test caps. You can go to Amazon.com. So marami mga affiliate products doon that go with drug testing caps. Okay po. Thank you po. So Amazon.com po or at saka August.com po. Augustmedical.com. Ay, August. August. Yes. Okay, okay ma'am. Thank you po. So, sa may ano naman po natin sa Facebook Live, wala naman pong question. Ovos Medical, ayan, dot com. Thank you po. Okay, so, we'll, we'll proceed na. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ayan. 
Yan. So, yung sinabi po ni Ma'am na site po, yan, nakalagay na po sa ating chat box, Amazon.com, tsaka po, OmbusMedical.com. Okay. Sige. I I'll just share with you a sample of an affiliate website that I have. So, actually, uh, I'm, I'm working on it kasi sabi ko nga, uh, when it comes to promoting, it really takes some time then, no? So, I have here a sample of... Um, okay. This is a website that I'm working on. So this one actually is nakikita naman yung screen, di ba? So if you look at it, so as I mentioned, meron tool tayo na ginagamit. So again, I'm using a website kasi I wanted it to be sustainable. Kasi uh, I wanted it for a long-term goal. Why? Kasi pag sa Facebook lang ako or sa social media, medyo ano siya, I, I don't have the control. So that's why I always choose to have my website. Kasi nga, I wanted it na control ko yung mga bagay-bagay. Kasi pag nawala si Facebook, sayang naman din yung pinaghirapan ko to create contents. no. So, I have to go for a uh, website. So, let's say for example, um, you might look at it. So, you might look, anong gagawin ito? It's drag, drag rehab directory. Why? So, because my target audience are my target audience are people who are into going into ano um someone in their family are into ano um drug problems so i wanted to give value i want i, I just don't want na pagpupunta sa website walang gin, i mean para sa anong website you are there to to give value to your audience hindi lang pede na magsesell ka lang. It's not something like that. You have to provide, you have to give value to your audience. So let's say, for example, um, this one is still work, uh, work in progress, but just to give you an idea, um, I want na pag optimize ko yung website, I want people na they want to see um, this one, drug rehab. I want them na, kasi the problem that this audience might be experiencing, saan kaya ako maghahanap ng drug testing facilities? So yun yung ano, yun yung hihanapin nila. So I have to go for that one. So after that one, uh, you go for this one. So parang binu-work out ko pa lang siya. Let's say I have here some states. So um, let's say for example, I wanted na pag may magkiklik, say, probably nasa, um, nasa Alabama. So hindi ko pa lang siya done. But basically, pag uh, tinghanap ko pa siyang ano, no? Wala. Merong directory dyan kasi may list ako dyan. Uh, may list ako na mga website na, or, let me see here, hindi pala. Okay. Ay, okay, there you go. Ayan. Ayan, may nakikita. So, I want them to find that value first. So, I want them to see, ah, okay, ito pala yung mga, uh, ito pala yung mga alcohol rehab centers sa Arizona. So, I want them to see, para mas convenient na sa kanila, hindi na sila magsasearch. Uh, I want them to see there, the list. So, that's the value that I wanted to add. I want them to save some time. Okay? So, ayan. So, yun yung ano, yun yung, uh, that's the value that I'm giving with my website. So, it's more something like that. And then, after that one, I have some blogs. So, I have some blogs. So, let's say, for example, um, so, let's say, so, different than audiences. So, let's say, for example, uh, I create um, content. So, let's say, for example, what drugs does a DOT drug test for? So, ang ginagawa dito is, if you look at it, um, let's say, Okay. Um, there's an affiliate link. So let's say for example for this one, if you notice na nakikita nyo ba yung ano, yung link below? Do you see at the bottom of us medical? May nakikita ka yung link. If I hover it, can you see that one? So that one kasi ino-optimize ko for the specific word. So I want them to pag na-click nila yan, they will go directly to the affiliate product. Okay? So that's the affiliate product. So it will go to the affiliate product. So, that's ginagawa, ayan, for, for specific for my, ano, ayan. So, basically, ayan, andun yung mga, ano, um, let's say, for example, ETG urine drug te test. So, yun yung ginagawa. So, may mga link. After that one, so, kung nakikita nyo, that's the affiliate link. Tinatawag yan na affiliate link. So, again, um, I do educating information what is tested for on a 10 panel drug screen test. So, if you look at it, meron yang mga referral affiliate link. If, if I hover it, ikiklik yan, diretso yan, automatic. Pag nakita ni, ni audience, pag nagustuhan, of course, again, pag nagustuhan yung content, ha, and they find it very uh, relevant to them, and then they purchase this one, 
Let's say, for example, they're going to purchase this one. Let's say, for example, that one, that's that they're going to purchase and then I get a commission out of that one. If, again, BBD. So that's 6%. 6%. What if magbabulk yung ano? Normally, bulk yung purchase kasi neto. Kasi I'm targeting mga drug testing facilities then. So it could be a retail. Pwede rin yung ano... Um, pwede rin siyang uh, bulk. So, depende yan kung sino magpo-purchase. Depende kung sino yung audience. So, that's how it works when you have uh, a website. Uh, we call, again, this one as an affiliate website. So, when it comes to setting up your website, of course, you have to put affiliate disclosure. Um, you have to put medical disclaimer. So, yun yung may mga ginag... You have to put something there para ano na... Ayan, um... Okay, so basically, gano, no? um, that's what we do when we set up um, an affiliate website. So again, that's one of the way that you can promote. You have to optimize it. Now, let's say, for example, I have my website. Since I offer affiliate program set up, so what I do here is, let's say, for example, so yeah, no, so that's my end. By the way, this one, I set up this one. So ganyan siya. Beside doon sa content, there's also um, like a shop or product page. Now, if you're going to click that one, let's say, for example, for the marijuana test strips, if I click on this one, this one again will redirect. So now take note that these are not my products. I am an affiliate for this one. Okay. So yun yung ginagawa ng um, affiliate, having that affiliate website. Okay. Another one, if you can see it here, meron dito sa side. So this one is more using images. So, pag i-click yan, again, automatic pupunta yan doon sa product. Okay. So, that's one way, again, of using affiliate, um, using your website to promote. The reason why having a website is important because you want you wanted to have that long-term goal then na uh, control mo yung mga bagay-bagay rather than pag hindi kasi sa'yo, di ba, parang nakikigamit ka lang, medyo mahirap i-control. So, yan. So I also have another website where in um I make use of this is my page since I promote I offer freelancing services I make use of this one as a tool and, and another one is I also make use of this one so I'm going to click on this one and the resources and tools then um um what you have this one is let's say for example naglalagay ako dito this page contains affiliate links which means i will receive a commission if you buy one of these products at no additional cost to you so pag again pag i-click yan if you look at the bottom nasa baba i'm not sure kung nakikita nyo but there's an affiliate link so if you click that one and then you purchase it or probably this one let's say for example you want to go to buy um um headset so, ipag ikiklik yan, that will go to Lazada. That's 7,000 pesos. However, ang commission lang sa Lazada is very small. Very, ano, maliit lang talaga. So, um, yun. So, that's one way to earn. But somehow, kahit maliit man siya, um, it, it's a good way pa rin to generate side income. Okay? So, another one, I have a SimRush. So, yung SimRush, I'm making use of SimRush. And then, yeah, Fiverr. And then I also have Wondershare of uh, Filmora. So if you're using for Filmora for the video editing, uh, you, you can promote this one. Okay. So um, yun, basically you can make this again of uh, having a website for your um for your and uh, for your um affiliate uh promotion. And okay, so that's the tool. You can make use of Facebook, you, uh, social media, you can make use of um Instagram. You can make use of Pinterest. You can make use of a website. And you can make use of YouTube. So let's say, for example, for YouTube. So let's say, for example, for YouTube. Um, okay. So if wala ka rin website, you can do videos alone. So what you need, again, the same pa rin naman. Um, okay. So this one. Okay. So when you want... If, even if you don't have a website, again, even if you don't have a website, you can make use of videos. Um, this one. Okay. So let's say, for example, for this one, um, this one naman is you can make use, uh, let's say, for example, um, okay. So let's say, for example, this one, um, I'm promoting a product about a tool. So this one, okay. 
what you can do is again this one also hold on uh, let's say for example for this one no? so okay create kind of videos you can make use of this one uh, hold on na. okay um okay so yan Ngayon, kung hindi ka, ano, hindi ka rin, ano, what you can do, there's another type of content that you can also do is, um, you can do some interviews, you can do some interviews as well. So, yeah. Okay, so, again, if if you don't, ano, if you don't love content, I mean, writing, you can make use of video. If may, mas okay sa'yo na mag, uh, mag-talk, then that would be a good idea. Let's say, for example, for this one, let's say, ayan, ang ginagawa ko for this one, I just have to put here um, the affiliate link. So let's say, for example, if someone signs up my link on this um, product, then I get a commission out of that one. So, ayan, with, with, with the YouTube video kasi, um, again, uh, if you don't like writing contents, then video creation might help you for this one. Okay. So um so basically yun po yung ano if you want to uh, to to start getting sideline you can make use of again you can make use of stream income stream number 1 which is all about um which is all about becoming an affiliate marketer okay now the next one the next one that what we can do is to create that income stream number two. Now, I've mentioned a while ago na yung, if you are an affiliate marketer, you cannot make use of that one as a um, business model or you cannot make use of that one as your main source of income. Okay? Kasi nga, hindi siya agad-agad. But when you want to maximize affiliate marketing, you might want to turn that passive income into an active income. So with affiliate marketing, you can make use of that one as your main source of income if you are going to provide that one as, as a freelancing services specializing in affiliate marketing. So when you want to become a freelance affiliate marketer, there are two ways. Uh, there are two target audience that you want to you might want to explore. You might want to target affiliate marketers. So what we do here, if you want to pursue target affiliate marketers, there are a lot of opportunities as a freelancer. You can offer content writing for affiliates. You can offer social media marketing. You can offer SEO. You can offer email marketing. You can offer building website. And you can offer building uh, paid ads. Pwede kang mag-offer ng ganun. Now, when you become an affiliate marketer, you can actually um, have this, you need to have, ideally, you need to have these skills. You need to have the skills, okay? But of course, hindi naman din agad-agad yan. It, 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 ano pa, slowly, you can take it slowly. Probably, you can get started with social media marketing. So you can master that one. You just have to select one a channel to master, let's say, for Facebook, you can get started with that one. Become expert in Facebook, or probably you want to become expert with Pinterest. So you can get started one social media at a time. Uh, or probably you want to make use of SEO. So yun. So uh, for this one, so when you are affiliate marketer, mas med, may ano ka, may, you can actually learn a lot of skills. But of course, as I mentioned, you need to focus on one skill. So you just have to choose which of the following skills that you might want to maximize. Okay. So again, the number one, if you want to become a freelance affiliate marketer, you can make use of the skill set to offer it. Or on the other side of the uh, no, no, of the affiliate marketing, you can actually target companies. So what I do here, what we do here is there are three opportunities that you can um, explore. You can go for affiliate program setup. So ang ginagawa naman ito, when you do affiliate program setup, it talks about the technical aspect. So let's say if you are into the technical side, you can um, you can uh, offer a service like setting up, finding the affiliate software. So when you want to find the affiliate software, you want to help the client set up their affiliate program. So ang ginagawa mo dito, mag explore ka sa mga softwares. So you just have to choose what software that you are going to offer. And of course, kasama din naman dito sa affiliate program setup, yung pag-o-offer din ng mga policies. You want to write contents on the policies. You want to provide the marketing collaterals.
So yan yung part ng affiliate program setup. And then another one is you can offer affiliate recruitment. So when it comes to affiliate recruitment, ang ginagawa mo dito is you find um you find affiliates who will promote the products. So yun yung ginagawa ng affiliate recruitment. And the other one is we have the affiliate growth and management. So ang ginag affiliate growth management. So ang ginagawa nito you become the affiliate manager. So um nagma manage ka sa buong affiliate program. So yun yung basically yun yung ano yun yung um mga um opportunities when it comes to affiliate marketing. Okay. Now another one as we have here um okay. So let's say for example you have here um need experienced affiliate writers with surfer SEO. So yun yung mga ano no yung mga opportunities affiliate writers yun yung tinatawag affiliate writers. So probably you can go for a share a sale affiliate manager. So ang ginagawa naman nito yung yung um the software is share uh, no it's a network an affiliate network. You you have to to get to know about the affiliate network which is share a sale. So this one kasi you you can manage the program of the ano um you can manage the program of the um, the client. So again, if you look for, for clients, let's say you go to Upwork, there are a lot of opportunities when it comes to ano, um, affiliate. So actually, iba-iba yung mga industry. Yeah, we have na mga casino, something to do with casino. Uh, we have again, um, another one is we have, let me see, uh, explore natin yung mga opportunities that we have for affiliate marketing. So I have here Again, and daming casino, no? But, uh, ayan, native Japanese casino writer for affiliate site. Um, let's see another one. Um, okay, we also have here the crypto affiliate links promotion. If you are into cryptocurrency, so they're also in. Um, so, ito, if you're familiar with Binance, so, andito siya yung mga, mga, ano, mga opportunity promoting cryptocurrency. Ayan. And then, another one is, um, like if mahilig kayo sa raw, ayan, um, something to do with SEO for something to do with the uh, romance niche. So yan, madami yung, ano, yung opportunity. May mga ganun din opportunity. We're in, if you want to offer that a service, you, have, you, you must have the skills in SEO, keyword research, WordPress, and affiliate marketing. So these are some of the opportunities when it comes to affiliate marketing. And another one is, um, let's say for this one, yeah. So you can also go for YouTube um, influencer or affiliate or influencing marketers. So, um, so far it charges between ang ano niya is ten dollars to thirty six dollars yung ano niya. Um, yung kung bagay yung budget ni client. So, um, and another one we also have. Let's say hanap tayo ng ano. Uh, okay, now this one naman is a travel website. So. If again, ang ang gawa ang work naman nito is will be to create traffic on a travel affiliate website. So basically, it's about generating traffic for that um travel affiliate website naman. And then ayon. So when it comes to affiliate marketing, um there are actually a lot of opportunities. So let's say another one. If you want to go into training, you want to go to education. So this one looking for affiliate marketing education. So um, ang ginagawa naman ito, meron naghahanap din. If you, you are already familiar with affiliate marketing, you can provide training, educating your clients about affiliate marketing. Okay. So again, um, when it comes, so again, just to recap again with affiliate marketing, income stream number one is you might want to become an affiliate marketer and income, um, affiliate, um, income stream number two is uh, you might want to offer, um, you might want to offer as, as a freelancer providing specializing on affiliate marketing. Okay, so I've mentioned two, but there's actually third opportunity if you want to explore um, affiliate marketing, and that is uh, we call that one. There's another opportunity we call it website flipping. So when we say website flipping, um, what we do here is we 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 uh, know um, we build website we uh, we build website for that one and then eventually pag nag na yan ng traffic you can actually sell that website so kumbaga, um again the, the the opportunity there is what we call website flipping so kagaya din ng mga real estate flipping so 
uh, may ganun din sa affiliate marketing industry. So you sell it in a higher price. But of course, you need to build it first before you can sell it. Okay. Now, as I end, um, affiliate marketing is actually a great opportunity. No, If you truly believe in the product you are promoting, uh, and second one is if you want to add value to your audience. That's the best way na you can really, um, kubagay, you go when you go into affiliate marketing. These are the two things that are very important to consider. So um, that's it, everyone. And thank you so much for listening to this topic. Yan. Thank you po, Ma'am Jane. So sa atin po mga participants, baka po meron kayong question, pwede, po, pwede po kayong mag-unmute para personally makapagtanong po kayo sa atin pong resource speaker. Meron po ba? Mukhang wala naman silang ano question ano um, ano ma'am Jane. So sige po baka po meron check ko lang po sa may ano sa live baka po meron din silang question doon. So sa ating live wala rin naman pong question sa ating live. Ayun. So Actually, yung atin pong uh, webinar na to, Ma'am Jane, ay magiging open po siya. I mean, pwede po nilang panoorin ng replay kasi hindi naman po lahat kasi available ngayong oras na to. So, inaalaw po natin yung mga participants or yung mga nag-register na hindi po maka-attend ngayon na panoodin po nila hanggang sa Sunday, 7 p.m. para po makapanood sila. And so, kapag po may question sila, so, Pwede po naman nilang i-leave sa comment section para po uh, siguro send namin sa inyo ma'am para po ma-answer din natin. Tapos reply na lang natin doon if okay. ever. So kung wala na po tayong question, moving on na po tayo, Sir Mark. So actually ma'am, ano ma'am, ma'am Jane, ako meron akong sinalihan dati na affiliate marketing kaso Parang hindi ko siya natatapos yung <laughs> nagtry po ako pero parang hindi ko siya talaga ma maiano ma ma talaga. Yung mayon kasi marami pong ikiniklik eh, di ba? Na parang i-connect mo po siya sa sa Facebook mo, sa page ng face sa Facebook page tapos kailangan mai ma-approve mo na nila. So once approved naman, doon ka lang po pwedeng mag-share or para doon sa affiliate marketing. Hindi ko din po siya na-push kasi kailangan talagang ano natin. Makita yes. talaga natin yung ano, talagang yung oras mas ah, ano ma'am, nakaano ka talaga, tutok ka. Kailangan kasi ano eh, unang-una um uh, bibihira ang mga affiliate marketing kasi nga ang um kasi nga they find it na medyo matagal and but again there's a lot actually um uh, not called know that much that Ano, there's a lot of opportunity with affiliate marketing. Yun nga lang, it really requires your love for the industry. It really requires your, ano, um, it really requires your, um, yung commitment mo. And then, ano ba yung oras na pwede mong ilaan uh, for that specific, for that, um, for your, ano, for your, uh, specifically for for that, ano, product that you are promoting. Kasi if you don't have, you're not that, I mean, hindi mo talaga siya, mahal yung ginagawa mo medyo challenging talaga yan Ma'am Jane may pwede kayang ano sa susunod yung i-train mo sa amin yung ano yun nga yung step by step procedure step by step yeah, pwede naman kung pa paano po tayo makakasali o makakapag bawa paano ka mag-register sa isang affiliate marketing katulad po ng mga binanggit niyo kanina o paano kami una gagawa ng accounts para makapag ano din kami magkaroon kami ng extra income ayan yes yeah, sure Ayun, so mag-schedule na tayo dyan, Ma'am Jane, ulit. <laughs> Baka next year na. Siyempre, <laughs> okay. yung time nyo din po. Okay, Ma'am, so thank you po sa inyo pong uh, senior na knowledge sa amin about affiliate marketing. So, Mark, Sir Mark. Ayan, so before that po, uh, mag-award po tayo ng uh, certificate, Sir Mark. Ayun, so babasahin ko lang po yung nilalaman ng ating certificate. This certificate of recognition is awarded to uh, Ms. J.M. Maghanoy, 
in grateful recognition of her, I'm sorry, invaluable support as resource speaker during the webinar entitled Building Two Income Streams with Affiliate Marketing of the Tech Technology Empowerment for Economic Development or the Tech for Ed program of the Department of Information and Communications Technology, Luzon Cluster 2. Given this 26th day of November 2021, signed by our Regional Director, Engineer, Engineer Reynaldo TC. Thank you po ma'am ulit, ma'am Jane. Eh, Jane Thank Mahana. you Ryan, for the opportunity. Ayan. So ayan, for our closing remarks, tinatawagan po natin ang aming Tech for Ed, Tech for Ed program focal, ma'am Ranaline Capital. Um, thank you so much po ma'am Roma. Um, thank you then. Thank you so much then for uh, Miss Jane. Ayan. We would like to thank everyone in behalf of our Technical Operation Division Chief Engineer Petra Nilo Villaferte. Um, we would like to thank everyone for joining us here today, especially to our resource speaker, Miss Jane, and um, for imparting her expertise and knowledge about marketing. Also, of course, to our dearest participants. Um, who make um, time and effort to be with us. I hope this session um, gain a lot of, you gain a lot of information and knowledge that you can use in your future goals. So, no, I hope um, see, um, I can see you all again in our next webinar. Po. And ayun, please um, keep following our tech for ed page and also our DICT page. And once again, thank you so much and have a nice weekend. Thank you po. Ayan, thank you Ma'am Rana. Bali, huwag niyo pong tanggalin ang inyo pong uh, mga uh, ano, huwag pa kayo mag-leave kasi mag-ano po tayo, photo ops po tayo. So Sir Mark, pwede po bang paano? Pa-screen shot. Thank you. Open po natin ang ating mga camera para po sa uh, ayan, photo ops. Wait lang po. Yan. Posted na din po pala sa chat box natin yung ating pong uh, post evaluation link. Yan. Mag-smile lang daw po tayong lahat para makita po yung ating magagandang face at syempre mga gwapong face <laughs> sa ano, pag-inose natin. So Hi Sir Sean, ano po. ka pala? Ready? One, two, three. Yan. First page. Second page po. One, two, three. Last page po. One, two, three. Okay na po. Thank you. Ayun. So thank you po ulit sa lahat po ng mga umaten ngayong araw. At again, ulitin po natin na ang ating pong post evaluation ay magiging open, open until uh, Sunday, 7 p.m. Pero uh, sana panoodin po natin yung uh, replay ng ating FP Live para po uh, matuto po talaga tayo sa tinuro po sa atin ng ating RP for the day. Yan. So thank you po ulit, Ma'am Jane. And thank sa lahat po nang join sa ating webinar. Thank you po. Thank you po.